Hey everybody, it's Marissa. Thanks for coming back to see me. This is week 177. Um, here to give you an update of what I've been up to. I had my gastric bypass surgery 177 weeks ago, which is crazy. I had that on September 13th, 2010. Um, and uh, yeah, life has really changed a lot for me. My last update was December 8th and I hadn't realized it had been that long and I was amazed and kind of like shocked that I hadn't updated in that long and I've been waiting to get on here um, and tonight I got the itch and I just said okay I'm gonna do this now because I just you know how life gets and it gets crazy and you just don't do it so anyway um, I'm here in my last update I told you that I am pregnant and um, everything is going well I am currently 25 weeks pregnant I am over halfway done so I'm um, well into my second trimester I only have a couple more weeks so I'm almost in my third which is mind-blowing to me because it seems like it's going really fast and um it's been it's been interesting i've never been pregnant before so you know i'm new to all this and um having had having you know being um a weight loss surgery patient and having lost so much weight um it definitely has had its challenges because um i want to touch on that a little bit before i go into anything else and just say you know um as weight loss surgery patients we um you know, we lose weight so dramatically, or even doesn't have to say weight loss surgery. I'm just going to say anybody who's lost a lot of weight. Um, when you do become pregnant, um, you know, you're you're a little bit out of control as far as like how your body is acting and how you're um, changing. And that can be a little bit psychological and it can be a little bit hard um, to face. You know, I did face a little bit of that early on, you know, when you, when your clothes don't fit anymore, <laughs> when you're growing in places, you know, when you're, you know, you're just looking at your yourself in the mirror, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's not looking like me anymore. It can be a little bit nerve wracking because you get a little bit of the feeling where I did anyway, I shouldn't say you, I don't know what you feel, but for me, I felt like, oh my gosh, I know what it was like to be super heavy. I know what it's like to not be able to fit into clothes. I know what it's like to be frustrated with yourself when you look in the mirror. And I was getting so many of those feelings back. Um, so it's been a real challenge for me. Um, but I've kind of had to just come to the conclusion, you know, this is an absolute blessing. Of course it's a blessing, but to kind of take the weight gain and everything with a grain of salt, you know, because it is what it is. And it's kind of up to me at the end after, you know, I deliver, you know, what's going to happen and how I'm going to, you know, if I'm going to, you know, continue this lifestyle. And of course I absolutely want to. Um, the first 20 weeks were tough. I didn't have extreme like morning sickness or anything like that. But I did, I did have extreme fatigue. I just did not have energy to do anything. I would come to work. I would come home from work and just drop. I mean, I was done. Um, at the 20-week mark, I turned the page. Um, my husband and I started working out together. He's an absolute dream of a husband. I mean, I'm extremely blessed to have someone who's so supportive with me. And um, we started off slow. It was like at week 20, it was like one time a week. You know, and then it was a couple times a week, and then here and there that we'd miss a week. And then I'd say in the past like three weeks, um, we have been super consistent um, doing, we do the Walk Away the Pounds DVDs together, um, three mile walks mostly with weights. And um, right now, I think we've done this like nine days in a row. And I mean, it feels great. It's becoming part of our, our lifestyle. And that's what I missed so much before when I had lost all my weight initially is that, you know, fitness was such a big part for me and the movement. I always talked about the movement, but I didn't lose that movement just because I got lazy. I, well, I got pregnant, you know, as I like to call it, but you know, um, so now I feel I'm really back. I mean, my energy is great. We actually just finished our three mile walk for tonight. So, um, my eating, as far as that goes, I'm still doing, I'm doing, not still doing, but I am doing on the advice of my, um, OB, I'm doing 1800 calories a day. I'm still doing protein, drinking my water, taking my vitamins. A lot of the gastric, you know, the post-op lifestyle has not changed for me. Obviously I do have my days where I go over that because I'm pregnant. I mean, you know, I'm hungry, I'm craving things I probably wouldn't normally eat. And you know what? I'm just going to do it because this is a time in my life right now. It's not the rest of my life. And um, I'm not gonna micromanage this pregnancy and I'm not gonna like not enjoy being pregnant because pregnancy is nerve wracking enough as it is because you wanna make sure everything's okay. You know, you just wanna you just wanna make sure that you're 
your baby is fine. I don't want to stress myself out on so many levels because, like I said, I want to enjoy my pregnancy. So, so as of right now, I have gained 14 pounds, um, and my doctor is extremely pleased with that. She really doesn't want me gaining more than about 25, um, and I'm completely fine with that. So, um, you know, like I said, though, I have really been doing my best just to me just to be smart about my choices and you know if I do have a little bit a day where it's a little bit crazy where I feel like I've probably you know indulged a little bit I mean I make sure that movements there um, I make sure I'm drinking my water I'm just doing what I can um, it's all very exciting life is very good and I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to have a healthy baby a healthy pregnancy um, I have my glucose test next month, which I'm a little bit nervous about. That will tell me if I have gestational diabetes. I would be shocked if I did. If I do, what am I going to do? I can't, you know, it's like I can only do so much. So fingers crossed that I don't have that. Um, and if I do, it's just another thing I'll manage and life will go on. You know, we'll be okay. So um, anyway, life has been crazy, as you know. I got married last September. I'm just going to recap this. I know you've heard this before, but September 7th, we got married. September 17th, we closed on our house. So we've been, you know, in the middle of home projects, you know, trials and tribulations of being a homeowner, um, you know, topped with, oh my God, we're going to be parents. <laughs> it's crazy. Right? I haven't found my footing as where I'm going to do my videos, where I'd like to do my videos. The last time I was doing it was in our bedroom. Now I'm in like our office, extra spare bedroom place. Like this is not all my stuff. So those are not my samurai swords. Those are my husband's. We all have, this is kind of like our room where we put all our fun stuff. Um, but we're still getting situated. We're working on the nursery. Um, and we do know what we're having. I said in my last video, you know, we found out super early. Um, and we've known since about 10 weeks on, so I guess I can tell you now what we're having. This will be my big gender reveal. We are having a girl. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of those things like, I know people say like your instincts and that, but like I always dreamed my whole life that I would have a daughter, but you know when you're 374 pounds and life just seems like it's never going to happen for you, it's hard to, it's hard to even imagine that that could be your reality and here I am you know three and a half years just about three and a half years later I'm almost to the three and a half year mark you know I'm married I'm pregnant I have a home like it's amazing I have an amazing husband like you know don't be afraid to follow your dreams and don't be afraid to go after what you want um you know obviously becoming pregnant was just um the icing on the cake for me because I never thought after all these years that I would actually conceive. I never actively tried to have a baby, but for me, you know, my weight had thrown off so many things with my health. You know, at one time I wasn't even getting regular periods and I was getting these crazy periods and I was on birth control and then I could not, I mean, I was just out of whack so badly that um, it is a true blessing to come to this point and be able to have a child. So I'm also extremely hormonal, so <laughs> I can drop, I can cry at the drop of a hat, I can be angry, I can be sad, I can be crying, I can be this and that, so that's another thing. Pregnancy is just all these wonderful emotions all wrapped into one, but um, I just really wanted to say that, like, don't be afraid to, to change, don't be afraid to go for the life you want, you know, um, you deserve your health and you deserve to be happy, um, so yeah. That's basically all I have for right now. I'm actually pretty tired. It's the end of the day, and um, I need to drink some water. I need to go lie down. I need to put my feet up. And uh, I'm trying to, with the with the movement, I'm trying to fight off like um, uh, swelling. And they say your your feet get big and your legs get swollen. Well, I'm still fit into my knee boots, all of them, because at first I wasn't. I was really having some weird swelling issues in my legs. That's when I had a really break early breakdown. I was probably only like. 10 or 11 weeks um and I you know planned on wearing like my leggings and my boots and my boots didn't zip oh I had like a